Hey, you guys, I'm Crystal Sherelle from Indie Artist School. Welcome to the Singer's Arsenal. Today, I am going to be breaking down the bridge over troubled water with Tori Kelly and Jacob Collier. I don't know if you saw the clip that Jacob Collier posted on his social media. I'm a fan, by the way, of him working with Tori in the studio. These runs and these riffs that you're hearing were in his head. This love sign is you probably would never have sung before. Okay. It goes. <laughs> it, it, it goes. It goes. Le, um, Le. Am I down there too? Yeah, it starts Le. down there. Le. Oh, it's... This you've probably never sung before. <laughs> That's how it starts it. That's the first bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Le. 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 I feel like it's a workout. Like I'm working out right now. My, my brain is <laughs> <Super. laughs> gonna be so bright. Musically, these are incredible. Like I had to really sit with this to hear it, okay? And actually get it down. Let's focus on Tori's juicy runs. We're gonna focus on them separately because there's several parts of that last section there that I think we need to break down. So I'm gonna play it and we're gonna focus on one run at a time or segment at a time, okay? That's the first part. <laughs> We're just gonna focus on the Leica bridge. Leica. Let's break that part down. So the beginning of the uh, uh and the, it goes down how many times? Uh, so that's four notes total. Uh, let's try that. Good job. All right. If you could do that, like, a, then it goes right into bridge. All right. So let's try that together. Like, a, bridge. All right. This next section <clears throat> may be a little tricky for altos like myself, just saying. The timbre of it may be a little different. And when I say timbre, I mean the tone, quality. Um, but what you can do if this is all pitched too high for you to reach this note that's about to come up, you could sing this uh, an octave lower if you've got the range for the guys. If not, you could pitch all of this down by a step or two. So instead of like a, you could change to like a bridge. And then the next part that's coming up will be easier for you, okay? All right, so keep that in mind, but uh, I'm going to try to do it in the original key. I know, daring. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see what she's about to do next. Oh, that's even higher than I thought. <laughs> wow. That's almost disrespectful, like in the best way. <laughs> Let's listen to that one more time. Hold on. So that first note, ah, we're going to have to get very much into the mask, wide space, drop the jaw a lot. Um, if that's too high, again, you could pitch it down, like I said earlier. But let's listen to what happens after that O. I think. <laughs> Let me listen again. Hold on. Hold on. I love when it's like this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Visually, I imagine a ballerina spinning and like setting themselves uh, when they meet themselves in the center. I don't know if you've ever watched a ballerina dance, but it's purely magical, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you get it? Let's try it again. Another thing that's happening that I'm noticing uh, when I listen to her and when I'm sounding it back, she does something very 
re really distinct to separate her notes. Ah, ah. It's kind of like a little bit of a dip to help separate the notes a little bit. And that's what makes it more crispy. <laughs> and it gives it that pop R&B sound. Really forward placement right now. that last part there's a trill there all right so let's do that first and then it ends with all right let's try that did you get it let's try that again then troubled we go back into that water all right that's how we're gonna trail it out oh ah, go tori go tori <laughs> so now we're gonna break down that lay i will lay oh i love it it's getting into beyonce territory a little bit and honestly it's getting a little Arabians. It's a scale that's commonly used there. So uh, let's listen to that one more time. I didn't even let it finish. Let me let it finish. Ooh, okay. Let's do that. I will lay me down. Oh, let's do that again, okay? We're going to break it down. I will goes up eh. that's a different note than you would expect eh. oh it's a minor there eh. Ooh, even more different let's try that eh. have you ever tried that before eh. if you don't cover artists that play around with the musical uh experimentation on their voice and they do simple runs all the time you may notice that you sing the same runs every time you have a chance to ad lib. That's why it's really good to open your musical box and your musical repertoire so that you can have more different types and styles of vocal runs to sing, okay? Let's finish that run, sorry. I just had to say that for anybody who wants to be able to sing then. I will lay. Now we're gonna go back up. Hey, me down. Okay, let's do that together now. I will lay me down. Let's do that again slowly. I will lay me down. Okay, you might need to rewind to get that down at that speed. Now we're going to try to do it at original speed. Here we go. I will lay me down. Oh, take a big breath. I don't think I took a big enough one. <laughs> Here we go. I will lay me down. All right. And then what's coming next? Let's see. So now it's lay me, lay me. So it's three after that. Lay me, lay me. And then this is when things get great. <sighs> Brace yourself. Okay, here we go, y'all. Let's make sure we could just get that out freely. Lay me now. This is a good test of dynamics and placement before you even get into the next part. Lay me down. Getting an ah sound is gonna make it a little bit easier to get there. Again, if any of these notes are too high, pitch it down, like I said earlier, or sing an octave lower for, the, for my fellas, okay? You got this, all right? <laughs> Miss Ma'am. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gagged, like, oh. If I had pearls, I would be clutching them right now. That was just, oh, it was beautiful. Let's listen again to that, okay?
Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love Tori Kelly's to tone. So beautiful. Anyway, beautiful thing here is she's not quiet, y'all. Like, she's not getting into falsetto. What? Stop. Okay, so here we go. Ah, that is just rough for me, that top pitch. So let's do, let's see what's going on up there. Okay, so that's pretty simple there. Except for the top note. That top note is rough for me. Okay, but sopranos, y'all got this. Y'all got this. This is a good time to use discretion. See, I would have pitched this whole thing down and, um, I was being ambitious trying to do it as is because I like to try because uh, I got the range, but it doesn't mean the notes are going to sound the best there, but we're going to, we're going to keep it pushing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then you go up again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Did you get it? <laughs> and then. <laughs> okay. Let's try that. Now, let's see what's about to come next. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful too. Okay. All right, let's try that. That's a trill on the first note. And you go back up. That's a, a four note rundown. And then you go back up. All right, did we get that? Then let's listen to what comes after that. That's tricky, huh? Me down. Ooh, okay. All right, so we got that second half. Y'all ready to put it back together? All right, here we go. Lay me down. The one thing I'm noticing, and you may notice this too if you're trying at home, is we got to be careful about the weight of the notes as we get low because it could get shaky pitch wise. Oh, I already know it's coming. I keep acting like I don't know, but yeah, let's listen. Here it goes. Maybe, yeah, that's simple. Now y'all heard that. <laughs> so let's talk about this cadence that's going up that's giving movie theater. <laughs> It's like a giving the sound system. I don't know why I'm thinking about surround sound when I hear that cadence. It's wild. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> when we're about to go up, the big thing again is going to be shifting in the opposite direction vocal placement wise because we're changing registers so that low note is going to be in that uh you're going to feel a vibration in your chest when you hit that low note make sure the tongue is rising up a little bit each note you go up that way that way by the time you get to that top note you're able to really belt it out So when we go, hey, that's first for, hey, then we go down here, hey, and we go back up, hey, then we come down, mirrors me down. And the big thing here is that you're going to have to hold that down, a the word down a little bit longer. So take a big breath before the leg, okay? <laughs> so let's take a big breath together. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Okay, let's try again. Big breath. 
oh, wait a minute, hold up. Why are your shoulders going up and down, honey? Why the, oh, no, 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 relax. If you need to take a big breath, I want you to breathe from your diaphragm, the lower belly. Let's take a big breath together. Imagine it's a balloon that you're filling up with air right now. And one, two, three, there you go. If your chest and shoulders didn't move, you got it right. Let's do it again. One more. Think of it as a crescendo. So we'll start really quiet and get louder as we go. Lay me down. All right, then let's see what happens after that. Oh, that's fun too. This is another one of those ballerina pirouettes <laughs> that I mentioned where basically the the shape of the melody that she's singing in this run repeats itself twice. Let's listen to what the first half is. Wa is a really good sound to get up there high without any tension. Wah! I'm right up there in the nose. <laughs> Hold that wa. Did you get that? Good. All right, that's the last part. All right, that's that whole thing. That section is a little, it's like deceptively hard. Then now, take a big breath, okay? Let's see. Eight counts. Okay, it's just an eight count. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At that tempo, okay? So, lay me down. and then you're good, okay? Depending on your breath capacity, it may not take that much air for you to get that out and hold it for the duration, okay? If you find yourself running short, I highly encourage you to take my online course, the R&B Singers Arsenal, where I have breath exercises in there that can help you increase your breath capacity, improve your vocal runs, the whole nine, okay? And it's self-paced. I'm gonna leave the links below. Otherwise, if you like that one-on-one -on -one approach and you wanna work with me directly, go ahead and check my website out, indieartistschool.com, where I give one-on-one -on -one vocal coaching on Zoom live, okay, for six months. It's a 24-week program. You're gonna get custom vocal exercises that way and everything. Check it out, indieartistschool.com. But you guys, oh my gosh, I don't know about you, but I absolutely love this performance of theirs. But anyway, you guys, um, <laughs> I hope you have fun with this bridge over troubled water. Um, I was going to say challenge and it is a challenge, but it's more, it feels different. I don't know. Like just have fun with it is all I'll say about that. Until next time, I hope you have a great day and happy singing.